Hi guys, Retro Jango here. I just disassembled a uh, Commodore 64 floppy drive, model number 1541-2. It was a little dusty inside, so I just disassembled it, removed all the dust, and I just want to show you guys how it looks when it's disassembled. I mean, if you are into these old Commodore 64s or Amigas, I mean, um, most of this uh, repair stuff you can actually do it yourself. You get, you have Google as a friend, and um, it, it's pretty simple. Simple electronics. We got the 6502 uh, and 6522, 22 again, made uh, for the week of 1987 so this is a late 1987 uh, board so maybe this drive was sold in 88 revision 5 yeah this is how the board looks let's check out the back side pretty simple stuff easy to on solder and replace parts on again here made in 1987 revision 5 in taiwan all right so we have this rf shield stuff that goes in there and this one um, goes in here. now i just uh, i actually this drive has not been um What's it called? It, it, it's, it has not been fully cleaned and all that. Um, I just removed the dust because I don't know if it works. So uh, the way I do this is um, when I get new <laughs> old Commodore hardware, first I remove all the dust and uh, make sure they're not, um, there ain't a capacitor that has leaked and all that because it's, yeah, 30 year old. Um, First, I take that before I do anything with it. You can see here, still uh, all the dust, uh, the, do the big dust is gone, but I can wash this um, to make it look better. So I just want to show you how it looks when it's disassembled. And this is the disk drive here. As you can see, I put a little grease on there because if this one has to move uh, pretty easy. The locking mechanism here. And I have cleaned the head. This is where it reached the discs, so you can lift this gently. And um, these two rails, they have to be cleaned with some alcohol. And um, they have to move, this one has to move pretty easy. So it's been cleaned, I have to, um, what's it called, uh, give it some grease, uh, not that much, just a little tad, you know, so it, it, so it moves, moves uh, a little more smooth than this. Uh, this one has to turn freely, and this wheel at the, on the side here, this one also should turn uh, pretty easy. As you can see so I hope I hope that it doesn't have any problem with any ICs or nothing that it just works so um, yeah this is how it works uh, how it looks when it's uh, disassembled so let me put this one together and uh, let's take a look again all right it's pretty pretty simple stuff here so um, yeah put the drive in here connected these cables the odd thing is this one has to be uh, like this uh, to, to the right side. So these two has to be free. Yeah, I don't know why. <laughs> um, yeah, I, um, I greased this uh, just a tad here and here. It doesn't need that much. And it moves really nice now, really freely. Oh. And the head is cleaned also, so um, I'm really looking forward to try this. I hope it works. 
All right, guys, I just put on the disk drive and I'm loading a game. It seems like work uh, all fine. It's loading, so it can take a, <laughs> yeah, a lot of time. But um, let's see if the, the sound chip works on, on this. Oh, it's ready. Two seconds, guys. Come on, play some music. Ah, yes! Alright, another Commodore 64 working. Nice picture and perfect sound. The disk drive um, also works fine. That's nice. So I will start cleaning these two awesome Commodore hardware. Seven start the game. Oh, that's nice. It's silkworm. Uh, no joysticks. <laughs> I won't just put in a joystick when it's turned on. Don't want to burn some one of the IO chips. Well, guys, that's how a Commodore 1541-2 floppy drive for the Commodore 64 works and looks when it's disassembled. So I just want to say thank you for watching. I hope you will subscribe, share my videos.